Hey everybody, Football Thursday over at DocSports.com. I'm Scott Spritzer. It is Thursday, December 9th, 2021. We call it Football Thursday because today is the day of the week where we release our football plays through the entire weekend. And I've got a big football card going on, seven star going this weekend in the NFL. Uh, we're on an eight and one, 89% run with my seven star football plays going back to late September. We had the Chargers last week, 41-22 outright underdog win over Cincy. And we'll have a seven star going. You'll be able to get that on Thursday with all of my football plays for this upcoming weekend. And I'm kicking things off with the high-end play also tonight, Thursday night. We got the battle between the Steelers and the Vikings. It rates five-star status for me. So two high-end plays going this weekend in the NFL. Thursday night football and Sunday NFL football. Five-star tonight, seven-star on Sunday. It'll all be available Thursday on my homepage at DocSports.com. Also on Thursday, I do have uh, NBA. I've got college basketball. Uh, both available on Thursday's card and we have a six star play in the NHL. We've gone 21 and 10 with my last 31 NHL plays up over 2,600 bucks. We're hitting 63% of our NHL uh, plays on the season overall and this follows last year winning over $4,000 on a shortened season in the NHL for $100 per unit betters. Now a rare six star play in Thursday's NHL but again star of the show for me is of course uh, football where we've got the five star play between the Steelers and Vikings and then the seven star play going on Sunday's card. Real quick note about last night, uh, we went two and one. My soccer play by the way got uh, postponed due to bad weather. College basketball went one and one but I lost a little bit because uh, the seven star was the loss with Southern Utah. We had a three star win with Florida and then we cashed in the NBA with the Houston Rockets. I mentioned NHL season 63% NBA going back to October 21st, we're hitting 63%. College basketball, even off last night's one and one, we're still hitting 67% on the season. We'll look to keep it going on Thursday. Let's get to a Big Ten, Big 12 clash. It's Iowa at Iowa State, the game being played in Ames. Listen, normally with a team like the Hawkeyes coming off back-to-back -back losses, they lost to Purdue and Illinois, I'd be looking to potentially play them in a spot situation. However, now they're on the road against their chief rival in state rival that is uh, playing in Ames Iowa and listen coach Otzelberger's done a fantastic job with his Iowa State Cyclones and this is first season since leaving here since leaving the desert after a couple of years and heading back to the Midwest uh, and becoming the head coach at Iowa State now he was there for many many years seven or eight years couple of different in different instances uh, where he was an assistant coach of the Cyclones so he feels like he's back home he's certainly got his players buying into what he's preaching and he's got talent which he never had out here in the desert in his couple of years at UNLV. The difference in this game because Iowa does uh, play extremely well on the offensive end of the court but the problem for Iowa I think that's going to happen in this game and again they're a very good offensive basketball team is that Iowa State is playing fantastic defense. Uh, they're 32nd in effective field goal percentage defense. They are 6th in turnover percentage on the defensive end. They get after teams. They produce a lot of turnovers and they're 18th of the nation, 18th stingiest against the three. They're pretty good against the two, giving up less than 47% as far as two-point shots are concerned. And even though their first four games were against so-so opposition, well, Oregon State was okay, but their other three teams in those first four uh, were bad basketball teams. Three of the last four wins have come against Xavier. Uh, they beat Xavier, by the way, by a dozen. They beat Memphis by 19. They beat Creighton in Omaha by six the other night. I like them here to give Iowa everything they can handle. I think this line's a little bit inflated, so we're going to recommend taking the points with the Iowa State Cyclones in Thursday's college basketball. All right, listen, I hope you like these videos. If you do, click on that thumbs up button, and don't forget about that $60 free account if you're not yet a member at DocSports.com. Click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for the free 60 bucks, and then you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. Let's put them in the win column, everybody. I'm Scott Spritzer. We'll see you again late Thursday night, early Friday morning with our next report.